final touches are being made to the runway as the Charleston Fashion Show prepares to roll into the Holy City. But the question is, what are going to be some of the hot trends of this year's show? Well, for the answer, I'm joined by Ashley Reed and Natalie Morelli with the Art Institute of Charleston. Thanks for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Now, Ashley, you are um, not only a designer, but you're also a teacher. Yes. So how is this, how is Charleston Fashion Week fitting in with the Art Institute of Charleston? We have been so lucky to be very involved this year in Fashion Week. We were involved to a point last year and it's grown this year so we have a lot more involvement, especially th through our Fashion Retail Management Program. And I am lucky enough to have been sponsored by the Art Institute to have my own show Friday night, which is very exciting. And I've been able to combine that with one of my classes, which is the Sales and Event Promotion class, which Natalie's also in. And um, so they've been so helpful as far as, I mean, I did the design of the garments, but they've helped me accessorize and actually make accessories and put all the looks together. And we'll have a lot more work coming up this week as far as model fittings and order of show. And, you know, the night of, of course, backstage, they're going to be very instrumental and involved. Um, I mean, what an opportunity. I mean, yeah, not many pretty. students would have this opportunity to really see what a, a you know, New York style fashion show would take start to finish. Definitely. And we also have, you know, students who aren't in the class because there's only about 10 students in this class that we've combined with my show. But there's a lot of students also being um, volunteers backstage and volunteers with some of the emerging designers that will be going on all week. So we have a lot of students getting involved, which is exciting. That is very cool. And yeah. Natalie, you know, being a student at the Art Institute of Charleston, was this a draw for you to know that you were going to get hands-on experience? Oh, yeah, definitely. I had the great opportunity through the school to be a year-long liaison between the school and Charleston Fashion Week with my internship. And many of the other students in the other programs have been involved as well, photography, digital filmmaking, and interior design students. Yeah, I mean, well. this, this is certainly an event that brings everybody in because not only do you need models, you mm -hmm. need um, designers, you need photographers to document the event. Definitely. Um, what has this been like for you, just um, being able to be a part of it? Do you feel like this is giving you, you know, real-life experience for your career one day? Definitely. I've had much experience with this and it was it's definitely going to help me out in the future and I know it's kicking off um, on the 16th but you guys have something going on at the Art Institute mm -hmm. that the public can come and see uh, coming up this weekend we do we have an exhibit opening on Sunday um, at the Art Institute main gallery on our first floor between four and six and it's an exhibit um, called fascinating fashion so we're actually combining a lot of student work that's been done over the past year um, along with some local artists and de designer work. Julie Clapper is one um, featured designer. Lee Magar will have some of her hats there. And then a lot of student work is featured as well. So it's kind of um, multi, you know, collaboration between local artists and designers and our students, which is very exciting and concurrent with Fashion Week. So it's a great, it'll be up all week, you know, so people can come in and out. But definitely, it's, it's, you know, the opening is Sunday. So that would be a great event to attend. Cool. And add it to your staff of places to go and see. Um, and we are looking at the runway there from last year, I'm assuming. Now, this year, you said you are going to have a show, Ashley. And I know you brought one of your designs in to show us today. So I want you to tell us about the design and then also tell us about maybe some fashion uh, forward advice for everyone oh. watching today. But this is one of the looks that I'll be showing on Friday night. And my line is all um, sustainable. I've tried it. This is a dress made of bamboo. And on the back, there's an organic cotton netting detail that shows a little skin. Oh, very cool. Um, and I do make the accessories like the necklace. And Annie's a gorgeous model, but she's also a designer as well. And we'll also have a show Friday night in the Style Lounge. She has her own line of cocktail earrings. So, um, but this is just one of the looks. I do a lot of summery sort of um, bright color and um, easy to wear dresses. I mean, they're expensive it to It looks throw like it would be very comfortable. I mean, bamboo, yeah. bamboo must be very comfortable. It is. <laughs> it's, it is. it's softer than cotton, actually, believe it or not. So, um, and it's sustainable. So, I don't know. Advice? I don't, I just think Maybe, maybe some must-haves in the closet. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at shoes. I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at jewelry. I'm seeing that, obviously, there are fashion trends that she is wearing. Definitely. Um, I think the big statement, jewelry has been around for a while. I think that's still something that you can always incorporate. The big necklace. I love, I'm a big fan of the big necklace and like Annie's large oversized rings. I love the oversized jewelry look with like paired with a simple sort and of dress. And you are seeing the, the large cocktail rings. You're seeing them in the store. Yeah, so, definitely. You know, that didn't tip you off. Yes, they're <laughs> hot. They're hot. So look for Van 8 on Friday for Bruce Reed and the Art Institute. Yeah. Very cool. Well, it's going to be a fun event, but we also want to talk a little bit more about the college and the opportunity for students there because, you know, it, it is not a traditional college. Um, perhaps if someone's watching, they're not looking to go into a traditional field of work, um, photography, um, fashion, art. This is a place for them. 
definitely. We have um, graphic design, we have web design, we have culinary institute. So it's definitely an alternative to the traditional four-year degree. You know, there's a lot of opportunity, especially if you are artistically inclined. Um, and we have some amazing instructors and with a lot of experience. And uh, we've been embraced by the community, which has been awesome also because, you know, we have internships and students going out into the field and doing um, all sorts of interactive work. So and and hands-on experience like the fashion. Definitely. Yeah, yes. Wonderful. We're very well, excited. Ladies, thanks for coming in, sharing fashion thank tips. You. And thank uh, you. I appreciate your collection that we can catch the train. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks. And right after the break, furthering your education with the convenience of a flexible schedule, we're going to check out some great new opportunities available at Virginia Colleges at North Charleston Campus. That's next. Stay with us.